Cape Bay State running here, powered by Marathon Sports, sponsored by Hoka. We're here with our one-two finishers in the 800. Abigail Hennessy of Westford Academy and, and Juliana Lagore of North Reading. Um, 217 and 218, but a very competitive race. Um, Abigail, let's talk to you first, uh, talk about your race. Got to be happy with this. I mean, it seemed like the wind was a little strong there. Uh, yeah, on the first 400, I could really feel it. And so I kind of just decided to like stick behind Juliana and see if she could like block the wind a little bit and see how that would work. And um, I ended up going a little slower in the 400, through the 400 that I wanted to. So um, yeah, I was kind of disappointed by that. So I just tried to really push it in the six, like the 600, the back stretch with the wind again, because it was really bad. And then coming around in the last 200, I could feel it like pushing me and that, that was really good to like help me push myself to the end. Could you hear Giuliano coming up on you? Down uh, that yeah, stretch. I could definitely hear people cheering too, and I was like, yeah, I have to keep pushing. <laughs> <laughs> and Giuliano, when I saw your name in the entries, I, I, I thought that made sense. Because yeah. you're doing what, 226 in the pentathlon or whatever? Yes, yes, I've been doing 225s, like a little higher tw 220s in the uh, 800 pen. So I'm guessing you were trying to break 220. Yes. How did it feel to actually do the event just without something before it? Honestly, it felt a lot different. The first 400 was not as tiring for sure usually i feel at the 400 mark i feel like i can't do another lap but this time it was a lot easier definitely now is this an event you're going to do individually you know are you going to dabble with or you're just no doing it? no just for the strengthening for the pen get some it's april break and i was just getting some conditioning in too did you say i do are you doing pen yeah i've been doing the pen a lot recently uh, oh, I, I thought pen realized. That's oh, what no, you're no. talking about. Oh, all right. Um, so, what do we have this season? Are you guys doing any out of state meets or, or uh, pretty much staying in state until the nationals? I'd say staying in state for now. <laughs> yeah, both of you. Um, what do you got for goals? I know uh, you've done 215 as a, as a best. What, what are you looking at? Um, I'd really love to like go somewhere in the 214s, maybe. Um, they brought the New Balance Nationals time down a lot to like 313 flat, I think. So that's a bit of a reach, but the provisional time is 214.5, I think. So yeah. I think that'd be a good goal for me to see if I could get under that time and maybe go for the 800 on Nationals. Yeah, Giuliano, I know the pentathlon, but also probably the 200 too, right? Uh, no, oh. not really working on the 200, more like 400 hurdles. Oh, 400 yes. hurdles, yeah. And what are you looking to achieve there? I'm hoping to go maybe 60, 61, get a bigger PR. Feeling a lot stronger this season on the hurdles. Yeah, I'm assuming you already have the school record, right? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, girls, congratulations today and good luck the rest of the season. But great job. Thank you. Thank you.